Hello all, welcome to the next lesson of the Java Tutorials. We are discussing data structures and in the data structures we are discussing linked list. So let's see what we had uh, seen till now. We had seen the singly linked list operations, creation, insertion, deletion and today we will see how we can perform concatenation operation on the singly linked list. So let's see how we can concatenate to sorted link list. To concatenate to sorted link list, we need to follow these steps. So let's call list one as list A and the other list two as list B. And we need to see that both the list list A and list B are sorted singly link list. Step one, we'll create a new temporary node with the dummy data. So we'll create a new temporary node. We'll call it temp and the dummy data we can store zero as data and the link of this temporary node will be null. Step two, we'll make it a tail node so that we can add further nodes from the either of list A or from the list B to this tail node. So step two, we'll make it the tail node. Step three, if list A is empty, then we simply add the head node of list B to the next of this tail. Here you can say we have two lists. Uh, the list A is empty and we have some nodes in uh, list B. So we'll simply add this head node of the B as the link of the tail node we had previously created. So in this way, this list will be uh, concatenated with the, the our temporary node. Step four, if list B is empty, then we'll simply add head of list A to the next of the tail. This is the second case. Let's say if the second list is empty, then we'll take the head node of the first list, list A, and then we'll add this node in the tail of the uh, our temporary node. So in this way, we'll add, we'll concatenate the list A. The third case where we have both the list and we have some data in both the list, list A and list B. Then, uh, first of all, we'll compare the head node of A, the data of the head node of A with the data of the head node of B and whichever is a smaller. Let's say if data of head node A is a smaller, then we'll join the head of A to the next of the tail and we'll move further in the list A and we'll make the next of head A as the new head of the A. And if the data of the head node of B list is a smaller. In that case, we will connect the head node of B to the next of the tail and we'll move in the list B and we'll now connect the uh, next node of head of B as the new head node of the B. So here we can say this was list A and list B. Uh, this was the head of list A where we have the value 10 and this is the head of list B we have value 20. We can see that 10 is a smaller than 20. So we will link this head of list A to our tail we have created. So we have linked this and we'll move our head from the previous head to the next of the head in the list A. So now this will become the new head of the list A and this loop will continue. The second case of uh, if the data of uh, head B would have been smaller, then we would have been linked this to further in the list. So this will continue till we have even a single node in either of the list. And now we need to make the next of the tail as our new tail so that we can add further nodes here in the tail node. So this is how we perform the concatenation in the singly linked list whenever we have both the list as a sorted list. Now let's go and see the program or in Java language program, how we can do this. So I have simply created the class and then we have a node class, which have two properties, the data and the link property. I have created the add node function. We had already discussed these functions in the previous lessons. If you want to know how we can add a node in the singly linked list, how we can create the singly linked list, you can watch those videos. So I have created the add node function to create two separate lists. Then the display list function that will 
traverse throughout the linked list and will display all the nodes. And now this is the concat function that is doing our purpose for the day to day. We are passing the head nodes of the two list into this uh, function concat. Then we are creating the temporary node as uh, I had uh, told you in the step one. So this is the step one where we create a new temporary node with the dummy data. So here we are creating the new temporary node with the dummy data and we are calling it as a tail node. This is the step number two, make it a tail node. So we are calling it as a tail node. Now from step number three, the condition, the first condition, if head of A is null, that means the first list is empty. So this is case one. Whenever the head of A is null, the first list is empty. Then what we need to do is we need to connect the head of B to the next of the tail and then we'll give a prick because the complete list will join the tail node and the concatenation is complete. And if uh, the list A is empty, that means if list B is empty, this is the next case. If list B is empty, that means head B is null. So this was the next case where the list B is empty. So we connect the head of A in the tail of this node. So the head of A will be connected with the tail of this temporary node. And again, we'll have a break because we have already connected the whole list with the tail node of what we have created just now. This is the next case. Whenever we have our nodes in both the list, then we need to compare the data elements of the head nodes of both the list. And accordingly, we connect. If the data of head A is a smaller, that means we need to connect the head of A to the next of tail and we'll move further in the uh, list A. So we'll convert the uh, next of head A to the new head of list A. Otherwise, we'll join the head of B with the uh, tail. We'll link it with the tail and we'll move in the list B and we'll convert. We'll uh, create the next of the head, next of the list B, uh, the new head of the list B. So this is the next step where we need to compare the nodes in both the list and accordingly, we need to link it to the tail node. And the last step, we need to move ahead in our concatenated list. So we'll convert the uh, next node of the tail to our new tail node. So this is the last step that we need to perform out of all these conditions that we'll move into the concatenated list. So the next of the tail will now be our new tail node. And then we can simply return the next of the temporary node. So now we'll create the main function and we have uh, three objects of the singly linked list just to indicate this is the list A, this is the list two and this will hold the concatenated list. Now in SL1, I am adding some nodes, let's say 21, 10 and five. In the list two, I'm adding some nodes, let's say 44, 16 and two. Now I need to call the concatenation operator. So I have called this concatenation operator on SLL1 in which I'm passing the two head nodes, the list one head node and the list two head node. And finally, I'm displaying this concatenated list. So let me go and compile this uh, for you and show you the uh, output of this uh, program. We had already seen that we had two lists, one with the uh, elements and the other SLL2. And now this is the concatenated list. So we can see that the result here is the concatenated list. So that's it for the today's lesson, the concatenation of the singly linked list. Uh, we'll be meeting in the upcoming lessons with more operations on the singly linked list. And we will also talk about more data types like stack and queues in the upcoming lessons. Thank you so much.